it's Around Town with Mandy, and do I have a treat for you. That's right. Global known Lori Wheeler. I'm at her house. She's at my house. So we've come to Pool Chat. Pool Chat. And we want to know just a little bit about what you do. Okay, so first and foremost, let me explain to you what a life healer is, because there's not many of us around. Uh, there's a lot of people who do therapy and psychotherapy. Uh, we're kind of classified in that group as well. So what a life healer is, I'm actually one of three people in the entire world that can read lines. So what are lines? You've been on the recipient end of done. this. I have had that done, yep. Uh, and some people watching this have also had that done. But Everywhere that I go, everyone that I see, they have double lines. Really, there's triple lines over your head. And this has been that way all of my life. So I'm 47 years old. I've had this ability since I can remember. So obviously, I use a lot of that when I do um, any kind of therapeutic work with people. Uh, the bottom line will pick you up from the age of two, and it'll take you out to present day. So it gives me a lot of your backstory. And that actually really helps when doing any kind of therapeutic work for people who have roadblocks or they can't remember certain parts of their life. And it also helps... Um, with people who are in therapy and their therapists are having a hard time doing a breakthrough with them, they will sometimes refer them to me because I'm able to pull out those pieces. Where that top line is what I would call your um, free will line because we all have it. So whether you go to your clergy or a doctor or a therapist or somebody like myself, we're gonna tell you what we see or what we think is best for you. Right. And then it's up to you to decide what it is that you wanna do. So I'll use both of those lines when I um, also work on open cases, cold cases and missing people, stuff like that. Nice. And then you also are having some events around in the area. I am. To promote am. some of the things that you do as a life healer in other terms of things, natural things, other things like that? Yes, I do a lot of Chinese medicine. So I am global. So since I do talk to people all over the world, because not only do I do in-person um, sessions, but I also do phone sessions as well. And one thing that I have found that for myself, because as a middle-aged woman, which I'm actually proud to be, um, you know, you go through things. You go through hormonal th things. You go through depression and anxiety, one, things of all that I have struggled from. So one of the biggest um, things that I'm enjoying about this event coming up July, 21st in Oxford at the Oxford Community Center. Um, it's for the Christopher Foundation. And um, you can read more about that, I'm sure, on here. We'll have a um, link. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I would highly encourage you guys, if you can make it out, it would be great because it's all you can eat crabs. There's beer, there's a silent auction, but mainly it's a day of wellness. So while what has been the catalyst for the foundation was a very sad event that took place, um, it is to explain how the mind, body, and spirit all connect in together. So what I have done is I work very closely with Dolvet Quince. If you guys are familiar with The Biggest Loser, he was a trainer on The Biggest Loser, but he's more than just a trainer. So him and I, we also work um, hand in hand with other clients. We do Skype sessions, which you can find more on my website as well. But the event that's coming up on July 21st is going to be pretty amazing. So what um, Dolvet and I will be doing is we will be giving you guys tools on what that looks like when you get stuck in your life, uh, when you're stuck grieving. Because it's not always just about grieving people who've crossed over. Sometimes it's about grieving yourself right. and not knowing who you are or I'm trying to please too many people at one time. And that's really probably the biggest thing that I see. And I know that you've been with me in several occasions where you've heard me tell that to people. Oh, yeah, definitely. Amy. And that's probably one of the hardest things that people have a hard time doing is saying no or living for themselves. So that's going to be part of what that event is. But it's really a day of wellness um, on knowing how can you cope with your anxieties and depressions outside of just SSRIs and medication. So there will be Tai Chi there. There will be classes uh, like I said, there will be crabs for the people who eat crabs. There will be beer. There will be selling auction items. But with the proceeds, that is going to go for the Christopher Foundation, which is going to be an amazing foundation uh, and a place for people to go to, uh, especially the youth who are uh, suicidal and who are having emotional um, issues. So it's, a, it's just I'm so happy to be a part of this family. And I became 
part of this group uh, through being able to help them deal with their grief and be able to connect them with people who have, with this specific person who has crossed over. Nice. And then we'll list below, but you're on all kinds of social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, you know, yeah. YouTube. They can find um, you. Pretty much if you throw a bat signal up in the sky, I'm going to respond to it. So if, if I don't get right back to you, I promise you that I will. Um, but sometimes I can be a little on the busy side. So just be very, very patient with me. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten through the things you're going to be teaching and showing people. And now let's learn about you. Like, where is this something you've had your whole life? My whole life. You, your whole life. My whole life. My whole family. So, um, again, I mean, at the age of four, so I'm 47, so you can do that math, right? Um, I've always been very high strung. Mm -hmm. And um, part of anybody who has any kind of uh, what we would call an ability or in a gift or, or something like that, anything like that, will um, tell you that they do struggle with uh, that anxiety. So for me, I've always had my guide with me, who is an Indian guy, uh, which you've heard me talk I've about heard. the chief a lot. <laughs> um, he's actually the one who puts those lines up. So it's actually awesome. Right. Um, and, but no, it comes from both sides of my family. Uh, and growing up in the 70s, it wasn't where we had all of, you know, you didn't have the Teresas and the Tylers and the Monicas and me, and you, you just didn't have that as such a accepted thing. Right, it was really different. Um, so we were really kind of closeted per se, but not really, because anybody, especially for my local friends and uh, most of you, uh, you'll know that I'm not one to really worry too much about what other people think. Right. And you learn that very quickly because if you don't have thick skin doing um, the work that I do, then you're not really going to be successful in any part of your life. But that's for anybody watching, right? So if you're so worried about being accepted or being validated or, or worrying about somebody else's validation to validate who you are, then that's where it's always going to be a roadblock for you. So I've been fortunate that my sister, um, she's since crossed over, but my sister really mentored me. So she's 23. I have two sisters. Hi, Joanne. Um, my other sister. Um, who is in Tennessee, but uh, my sister D really helped mentor me um, with things that were coming up and to let me know that it wasn't crazy. Right. And another thing that I think people might be surprised to know about when you hear things about life healer or people talking to people who crossed over or have an ability, you automatically think, oh my God, they are like devil worshipers. Yeah, exactly. And you know what I mean? They're, oh my <laughs> God, where's her horns and her tail? Um, no, I was raised actually Southern Baptist. Uh, while I don't practice that Southern Baptist religion, God is my first center um, for myself. Right. And then I also deal with a lot of Buddhism and, and Buddhism is a lifestyle. It's not a religion. And that's where a lot of people get caught up. So I, I really pride myself on being spiritual, uh, first and foremost. And, um, I think that's kind of carried me along too, because in the morning when I do my meditations, I do my prayers and everything too. So I think, you know, one of the biggest things that I guess if I was saying, what would I want people to know is if you can think outside of the box, and educate yourself on other things outside of just what you think is the truth. Because reality, you can change your reality on any on a dime, uh, right. at any given time. So that's where I think so many people get so caught up. And that's where I step in. And I really try to help people get to that point to where it's okay to be who they are. And sometimes they actually forget who they are. And I've had to learn that. So right. in my first book, which I believe you did read my first the book, first right? One. And you have another one coming out. I have another one coming yes. out in the spring. And this second book is actually going to be about you guys, right? Like, what does that look like in your life? What what happens when you grieve? How, it, like, is it okay to grieve? How long can you grieve? There are all of those things. There's no real rules to them. Rules are things that we kind of put on our selves, yeah, right? right? Or somebody else says, well, you have to do, to do this, this because of this. Well, no, you don't. You know, so I think that's where when life healing comes in at, think of it as therapy with a kick. I really do care for the people that I talk to. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I, I do, maybe to a fault. Honestly, it's sometimes to a fault where, I, I mean, I keep my lines of communication open where some other people, you know, they keep their boundaries pretty, pretty strong. Business, business, business personal, business. personal, and right? I don't know. I just think that that's, for me, that's not very comfortable. So right. I try, once I'm in your head, quite literally, and I can see your lines, <laughs> yeah, right? it's kind of hard for me not to say, hey, think about I'm it. part yeah. of your life now. Right. And, um, you know, that's kind of just me in a nutshell. And I mean, I love my black cats. 
I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. I'm still a regular human being. Right. You live right. Whatever well, yeah. regular human beings are. I would far from say normal because I don't think there is such a thing as normal. I think everybody has their own normal. But I am a Dallas Cowboy fan. I know. Hard to believe that in Ravens I know, territory. Right? I know. That's... Um, but I love all sports. And I love hiking. And I like going to the gym. I actually go to Club One, which is a local gym here. Um, so I... I I enjoy, I enjoy it. I mean, I try to enjoy life where I can. I enjoy my kids. I enjoy my family. And I'm a proud vegan. Nice. Well, thanks for letting us come hang on the patio. And like I said, um, they'll find your links below if they're trying yep. to get in, in touch with you or, you know, they want to speak to you. If they're hesitant, just... You know, yeah, give you just a message. read about it too. Yeah, because definitely. I have a blog and a vlog that is also on my website. That is actually what my website is too, as well. So if you go on my website, you'll see the services, you'll see prices, uh, you'll see what I'm booking now. Uh, right now, we are in the summer months. So outside of this event, uh, coming up in October, I will have one at O'Shucks for the Raven's Nest. Actually, oh yeah, nice. So I will be doing that uh, as we get closer. Maybe you can come back and, yeah. and see me, and we can talk more about that because that's you know I try to give back as much as I can. Um, but yes, so that is what I'm doing local and, um, you can find me just about anywhere. Uh, I'm booking my Saturdays right now into 2019. So get on your calendar. Get on my they calendar soon. I'm booking November right now, November forward. So. Perfect. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for having us at your house. Anytime. And I mean, I guess. I want to push her in. I want to push her into the pool. See, I bet you if all of these people could hear this, they'd be like, yeah, let's see it. I would love to you see you do the nasty plunge. No, not today, people. Not today. I didn't see it in her line. <laughs> <laughs>